In Georgia, the District 14 seat for House of Representatives is highly contested. That seat's currently held by Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. The federal primary, May 24th, general election is November the 8th. Tonight, the American Legion in Dalton hosted candidates who want to challenge Green for her seat. The event featured those candidates from all political parties. They had the chance to share platforms with veterans and the residents who attended. Local 3's Karen Aguilar joins us with more, Karen. Greg and Cindy, organizers say tonight's event gives voters an opportunity to hear from all of the candidates face to face without partisanship being a factor. You all served a packed house full of veterans listening intently to candidates running for Georgia's 14th congressional seat. Eight candidates spoke on stage, while two, Wendy Davis and incumbent Marjorie Taylor Greene, spoke through TV screens sharing their vision. I was born and raised here. I've lived here my whole life and I know what this district faces a lot of times. Green's GOP challengers say they are looking to bring Republican values such as protecting the Second Amendment, energy independence, and being fiscally conservative without the rhetoric of Green. I never see her in this district. Um, when, when she is in the district, it's all about impeach, 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 or somebody's got stole the election. I'm here running against her for a reason. She called for a roll call vote. It was good, but what she's doing is that's an alarm clock. It woke people up. Now it's time to go to work. Organizer Shannon Bearfield says this forum is breaking down barriers so that voters could look at issues without fearing partisanship. It's just a unique opportunity that you won't find anywhere else to get them all in one place at the same time. Marcus Flowers is a Democrat and Angela Pence is a Libertarian, both wanting to unite the district and bring their values to Congress. Send the message that I've talked about the entire time that I've been in this race that the people of Northwest Georgia are kind, generous, and caring people. The problem comes with the rhetoric that has happened. It has led people to believe District 14 is QAnon country, or there's just a bunch of homophobic hicks, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Green's representative declined to comment. Bearfield says they'll be hosting another event here on April the 28th with Georgia Senate and House candidates. Reporting live in Dalton, Karen Aguilar, Local 3 News.